Good evening and welcome to a new video. It's been um, a bit more than a month now, I think. Um, I've been quite busy with uh, work and with other stuff. And also I wanted to wait for this beautiful microphone that you see here. I hope you like you enjoy the sound. Um, so happy to, to be back and today's video is go I'm going to answer the most pressing question I've been asked on this channel, literally. Like it's not even a joke. I'm going to talk about my text editor. So <laughs> so text editors are um, are always um a topic that um that a lot of people are interested in, which is uh, which I think is is important. I think text editors are really important. Let me maybe move my phone a little bit so I'm filming on my phone. Um and I think I think text editors are important for uh, because if you're writing code you're, I need to move, I guess I need to move the mic with me, so I need to get used to this. Um, if you're writing a lot of code, um, if that's your job, you, most of the time, like 90% of your time, is inside a text editor, most likely. And depending on what you're doing exactly, the rest of the time will be uh, probably a, some kind of console. Maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, if you're uh, unlucky enough some uh, Microsoft Office tools like PowerPoint or Excel if you need to prepare some presentations, unfortunately. In a lot of um, businesses, that's still uh, the standard, let's say. But the rest of your time, you're going to spend that inside a text editor. I'm using Space Max, which raised a lot of uh, questions. People were, re you know, really interested. M some people thought I was using Vim with some kind of special configuration. No, it's Space Max. So Space Max is, um, let's call it a distribution of Emacs. I actually wrote a blog post about it, so I'm not going to go too much into detail. I'll just link the blog post um, in the description. What I want to explain maybe is um, how that is different from RStudio and why I'm using that and not RStudio. And actually, it's for one very specific reason. But maybe I'll show you just a little bit how Space Max works if you've never seen it and then I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about why I'm using that and actually maybe I need to um, activate screen key I don't remember if I have it installed uh, nope so maybe let me just install that super quick should be in the um, default uh, OpenSUSE repository so OpenSUSE is the Linux distribution I'm using at home I wish I could use that at work be great. Unfortunately at work I'm stuck with Windows which causes a lot of distress, causes me a lot of distress. If you're following me on Twitter you might have seen uh, my latest tweet on uh, on that. Um, so what is Spacemax? So while this is installing, so Spacemax is a distribution of Emacs that so Emacs is a very old now uh, text editor um, that is, I guess, something like 40 years old, easily, um, maybe a bit less, 35 or something. And it's been used for uh, quite some time, just like Vim. So Vim and Emacs are kind of the two uh, text editors that, uh, you know, a lot of people are always talking about. And actually a lot of uh, modern text editors um, imitate some aspects of, e of either Vim or Emacs. Um, RStudio actually has a Vim mode, so um, uh, and and I think also probably all these other text editors also have some kind of Vim mode. So Vim mode is something that you will find in a lot of modern text editors that, as the name implies, allows you to imitate Vim. Um, and Space Max actually is Emacs with some kind of Vim mode, uh, which is called Evil uh, Evil mode Evil mode. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of weird, right? Uh, why use uh, Space Max with uh, Vim key bindings? Well, the reason is that, uh, as they always like to joke, is that Emacs is a very good uh, operating system because why it's an operating system? Why do people joke about that? Well, because Emacs has a lot of uh, plugins and a lot of extensions that allow you to do anything, browse the web, send emails, browse your files, uh, copy, delete your files, manage your files. Um, downloads, files, really anything, uh, almost anything you can think of, you can do from within Emacs. But they, um, you know, people that uh, that don't really enjoy Emacs editing mode say, well, you know, 
It's a very nice operating system. You can do whatever you want, but um, the text editor sucks. Well, the joke here is that uh, Space Max uh, is Emacs, so this very good operating system with a very good text editor, which is Vim. So. Space Max, as the name implies, the space key is uh, super important. So now that I have a um, screen key, let me start it. So if you want to, so as you see, it's, uh, it looks like a terminal window. So there's just text and uh, at the, the bottom of the window, you'll see this status bar and that's it. So how do you interact with that? Well, with uh, keyboard shortcuts, but what's really great is that you don't need really to remember them. For example, you always start with space, so you, I'll, I'll just press space and screen key is not showing for some reason. Uh, maybe it's showing on my other screen. Let me try to... Yeah, it sh should show. Well, let's, let's see. If not, I'll just tell you what I'm typing. I mean, I, I won't type a lot uh, in this video. So space opens this uh, mini buffer that you see uh, on the bottom and you see a lot of other letters. So now if I want to open a file, I can uh, use the F key because if you look maybe with my mouse yeah I can highlight it you see that you have this plus files so the lowercase f opens files so if I now press files I have a lot of other options and then I have find files so if I do space FF this will help find help me find files so space FF and now I'm in my uh, in my home directory, okay? And I can look for files to open. Um, if I want to edit a file that I opened recently, I can do space fr, space, so file recent. And I see here all my different files. Maybe let's open, um, I don't know, let, let's open maybe, maybe the targets file. So I also wanted to make a video about targets uh, because the most watched video on this channel is me shaving and then after me shaving it's my Drake video but Dr Drake has um, been replaced let's say by targets so I think I need to update that video talk about targets and redirect people from the Drake video to the targets video I also wrote a blog post um, well not directly about targets but I mentioned targets in uh, my second to last blog post so now uh, I'm in, uh, inside a text file and I can start editing it So um, with Vim key bindings. So I don't know, um, if you've never used Vim, this will seem very weird, but you, Vim is a model editor, so you can... Um, so here, if I start typing, I won't type anything. So the keyboard here in this normal mode, so this is normal mode, is the, all the key uh, strokes that I'm going to use are just to move around the file or delete or you know I, I can select delete and, and do things like that. If I want to type I have to go into insert mode which you can go into by pressing I to go into insert. So if you see at the bottom left of my uh, of my Emacs uh, Emacs window you see now that I am in insert mode so I can start typing hello I am typing. Uh, if I press S escape, I will go back to normal mode, meaning that, for example, if I press D twice, D -D, this will delete the line and I can now, uh, if I want to add a line uh, to separate, you know, these two lines here, and I also, you know, can move around with my keyboard, I don't need to use a mouse. If I want to add a line, I can press O and O adds a line below. So this, this is basic Vim stuff, okay? So if, if you know Vim, you, you'll feel right at home uh, using using Space Max because it, it's just Vim, Vim stuff. Uh, you can enter com command mode, for example, WA, which uh, saves all your files, write all. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, if I want to, um, for example, delete of all these lines, I can, I can enter um, I, visual mode. Visual mode is to select stuff. So visual mode, I uh, enter visual mode, and then if I press uh, cr closing curly closing curly brace, I just select the whole paragraph, and then if I press D once, I delete the whole thing. You know, so this is basic Vim stuff. If you know how, to, or if you don't know how to use Vim, I really recommend uh, that you learn Vim. I, it's probably one of the best uh, computing decisions I, I have um, I ever took is learning Vim and I'm not really um, 
a huge Vim expert. So sometimes I watch some vi YouTube videos about you know some some Vim advanced Vim tricks and things like that. And the things I see, I have I cannot I, like I think I could do them if I would really stop and think about what I was doing, but it would wouldn't come naturally to me. Whereas even with basic and intermediary Vim things, Vim tricks, you can do. A lot of stuff so if you if you know like the ba basic commands and if you know macros macros are super important and super useful um, you can do so many things with vim it's 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 really the best best i think the best text editor but why i'm not why i am not using pure vim then you know I, instead of using space max why space max space max because it's based on emacs can use all the um, Emacs plugins and Emacs plugins, as I said before, are really good. In uh, Vim, uh, sorry, in Space Max, uh, you have, so if I want to edit my dot file, so the dot file is the configuration file. Um, it's like a generic name that you have in uh, Linux systems and I guess also in Mac systems. For software, you have these dot files that you can change with options. So if I want to edit the um, if I want to edit my dot file, I, I have a keyboard shortcut, so space FED, so which is a standard find and edit dot file, basically, space find edit dot, dot file, which um, opens my dot file, and the dot file here, what you see here, those are the layouts, uh, sorry, the layers that I want to use. So a layer is a Emacs plugin with some basic pre-configuration stuff, and actually, if you look at what I'm showing you, if you know Space Max, what I'm showing you is quite boring because I didn't do much. I just installed Space Max. I just changed the team to Solarize Dark. So by default, it's another team. I think. I think if I do Space T, or oh wait, I don't remember. Maybe Space Capital T. Wait a second. Is it Capital T? Yeah, Capital T, and then I guess uh, S for Find. Yeah, and I go with space my uh, that's the that's the default team. So this is the default team. So I changed to solarized, and I just you know I just used my um, I just chose the layers I wanted. And the most important layer here is basically this one: ESS Emacs Speaks Statistics. So Emacs sp Speaks st Statistics is the layer that allows you to work with R, to work with Julia also now. Um, with uh, SAS, I think as well, Stata, and all these uh, other crappy uh, proprietary software, statistical software packages, as they like to call it, but R as well. So um, the problem with uh, ESS is, well, I haven't checked in a long time, so maybe what I'm going to say is not entirely true now, but when I last reconfigured my SpaceMax uh, installation, it didn't, ESS doesn't really support RMD files, so you have to use this additional package that you see here, which is polymode, um, and this you can find on a GitHub repo. Um, someone built this um, package, which allows you to use, or, or let's say that makes it easier to work with RMD files in SpaceMax. So for the, for the end user, at the end of the, the day, it's going to be very transparent, but basically the problem that uh, SpaceMax has by default is that uh, our RMD file is a file where you have markdown and you have um, HTML even potentially you could write HTML even LaTeX and uh, you can write of course um, you can write of course let me just adjust the mic uh, R code so uh, by default by default uh, Space Max would go a little bit crazy with uh, my mic is starting to fall oh crap right when I'm filming, of course. Maybe I will need to edit this out. And I don't like editing my videos, so I probably won't do it. You'll probably have to watch me readjust the mic. So, um, yeah, I, I, won't, I won't edit it, so it's gonna stay there. Um, so, Space Max is, uh, has some difficulty, you know, managing all these different modes, because depending on the, on the file you have open, you will have different shortcuts available to you. So you have shortcuts that will, you know, only um, work with R for R for R code, or shortcuts for LaTeX, or shortcuts for Markdown, and uh, Space Max would go a bit crazy with that. So Polymode man uh, allows you to 
to manage that quite uh, naturally. So it's a uh, god damn it! I need to find. Sorry. I hope that um, I'll find something comfortable. It's not quite there yet. So this poly mode allows you to, to work with um, with uh, with markdown. So then that's almost it. Uh, I just you know just uh, changed. So this is where you you say that you want a Vim mode. You could use Emacs key bindings, but honestly, what's the point? Uh, just use Emacs, I would say. Um, so this is where I said that I wanted Solarize dar Dark first. My fonts. And Ubuntu font. You can change the leader key, but just keep it to at space max. And the only thing I did, the only thing I added is some keyboard shortcuts to run. Where is it now? Yeah, so this is some stuff that I also added. I think you can find in the uh, on the repository of uh, poly mode. So, ah, uh, uh, yeah, this thing. So these are new keyboard shortcuts that I added to. Um, so if if I'm to, to, to execute these commands, so these are ESS commands. So you have ESS, test package, eval line, eval region. So evaluate the line, evaluate the region. So run the R code or, 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 run, the re, or run the R line or the R, or how could I say that? Run the region that contains this R code, this chunk of R code. Um, build the package, document the package, load the package, check the package. So this is when I'm developing a package. So I I, I do space m d t. So space m uh, dev tools test uh, space m run line space m run region space develop uh, dev tools build space de uh, dev tools document etc. And then the other thing I added is space m m, and this adds the um, the Magrita pipe. That's it. Like that's my configuration. It's nothing fancy. Um, th th that's literally all there is to it. So it it looks super. You know, it looks super impressive. It looks like I'm some kind of uh, elite hacker, but it's not. It's n no. I just use SpaceMax, and what's really great with SpaceMax is um, that all these layers. So there's there's all sorts of them. So I don't use a lot of them. But they're all great. They're all great. And now we're coming to um, the final point. Why am I using that? Because I could use RStudio. Because RStudio supports R, supports LaTeX, supports uh, Python, supports um, RMD, of course. Uh, it has uh, all manners of keyboard shortcuts as well. It has a Vim mode. So why am I not using RStudio? There is one reason, very important to me, which is this thing, the keyboard layout. So I am not using the QWERTY layout, which is the standard uh, American layout. I am not using the, um, the f standard French layout, which is AZERTY. I am not using the standard, uh, well, in Luxembourg used, in Luxembourg the, the standard layout we use is Swiss German or Swiss French, because just like the Swiss, we write a lot of French and we write a lot of German, so we use the same keyboard layout, and that's not what I'm using, I'm using the Bepo layout. The Bepo layout is a layout that is optimized for French, but works really well for English as well, and for German and other European languages. And it's kind of the uh, French Dvorak layout. So if you don't know what Dvorak is, Dvorak is simply an optimized layout for typing on a computer. Because you have to know that uh, the uh, standard QWERTY layout is not optimized to uh, type on a computer. It's actually literally the opposite. So I also wrote a blog post about that, that I will also link in the description if you want to go into more details. Long story short, our studio, at least last time I checked, maybe it changed, maybe, but last time I checked, our studio did not support changing the layout, or rather did not support importing a new Vim layout that is optimized to another keyboard, which is what I'm using. So if you look at my uh, dot file over here, you see that I'm using the Bepo um, keyboard layout and um, this basically means that Vim gets optimized for this Bepo layout. So for example if you know Vim you, you know that uh, one you know 
important key is something like change inside something. So for example, if I want to delete everything that is inside this parenthesis in a standard uh, Vim, let's say you could type C I parenthesis, change in parenthesis. But the C over here uh, in the Bepo layout would be to go on the uh, left. So here the uh, C has been replaced with L. So if I type L in parentheses, it removes everything that is inside the parentheses and puts me in insert mode. So I can also then uh, just undo. And you know, I could do, uh, you can then also change in word. So uh, L E W, change, you know, it erases the word and um, it uh, puts you in insert mode. So this is again basic Vim stuff, but doesn't wouldn't work like that in our studio which means that whenever I would be using our studio I would need to change my uh, let's say mental model of how I would use uh, Vim and I would need to uh, know and use the standard QWERTY Vim key mindings, which I don't want so now you have it now you know what is my editor? It's Spacemax. It's not uh, an optimized version of Vim. It's actually an optimized version of Emacs. I use the ESS layout, which does all of the heavy lifting. I only only configured some keyboard shortcuts. That's it. Um, just to add the pipe and to you know develop um, yeah these dev dev tools uh, keyboard shortcuts. That's it. And the reason I do that is mostly because of the Bepo layout, but not only because of that, because I really think that the um, SpaceMax way of working is, is really nice, because you, you press space and then you have this uh, mini buffer that appears here, even if you don't remember, uh, if, if, even if you don't remember uh, a keyboard shortcut, you can always look at, uh, at what's there. Maybe if I zoom, I mean, I should have done that maybe at the beginning of the video but it's not super actually the mini buffer doesn't doesn't get, get bigger doesn't get bigger but that's it that's it's it's a very nice editor I would highly recommend if you if you all especially if you already know Vim I think if you already know Vim this perhaps will uh, suit you more than our studio um, if you don't know Vim and if you are already using our studio maybe try out Vim mode you know Turn on Vim mode in our studio. Um, try to learn some basic stuff. It's really powerful. It's really, uh, I, again, I think it's one of the best decisions I, I took uh, in terms of computing. So maybe learn learn Vim. Use it inside our studio uh, because our studio is really a great editor. I must say that uh, in I, I at work I have to I I, I use uh, our studio for for a project and um, on a distant a distant uh, virtual machine and it's it's great like honestly it's if it wasn't for this vim stuff maybe maybe i would use it more but um but i really enjoy space max so which is really a great editor as well so there you have it so now uh if anyone asks me what editor are you using i will link that person two things the blog post where i explain what space max is uh, which I will also link in this description and this video. Finally, I have done it. Great, so um, we can go back soon to our scheduled programming. So I hope you enjoyed and uh, you know, have a great weekend.